Okay. Welcome to my Dolphin Speed Up tutorial. My laptop isn't much, as it says here, in terms of specs. So it's nothing high-end. So, which is what makes the setup I'm about to show you very suitable for low-end PCs and laptops. So let's run through it quickly. First of all, you need Game Booster 3, Dolphin SVNR6537, and ROMs. Okay. When you download Dolphin 6537, it's going to come like this. You're going to get a RAR file like that. So you want to extract it to a folder. How you do that is you right click on it and select extract files and you select the folder. I'm going to call my folder Dolphin. And you let it extract. Shouldn't take very long. Okay. And you realize there is a new folder. And you have your emulator here. Move to step 2. To make it easy for yourself, keep all your ROMs in the same folder. When you're adding your ROMs to Dolphin, you're going, you, you're going to have to add every folder if you put it in different folders. So just keep all ROMs in the same folder. Step 3. Open Game Booster 3 and we're going to be adding the Dolphin emulator to it. It gives us speed up. Oh my bad, I already had it here. I'm going to remove it to show you how to add it. Okay, so there's a tab here saying add. You click that tab. And you add your emulator. There we go. So in the game booster box we're going to open the emulator and now you're going to follow me. The first thing is config. Leave the first two boxes checked but turn the frame limit off. Also, lock threads to cores. So your general tab should look like this. Moving to display. Leave the resolution and the window size at 640 by, 640 by 480. But we're going to check render to main window. And 
I like this theme. Next we move to the GameCube tab. Make sure every port you're going to use says standard controller. If two people are going to be playing, then make sure port 1 and 2 says standard controller. If 4, then make sure all 4 say standard controller. For me it's 2, because I have a brother. And it should look like this. Paths. This is where you set the folder where Dolphin is going to search for ROMs, which is why I said put ROMs in one folder. Tick search subfolders. Then you're going to add the folder with the ROMs. This is my folder with the ROMs. I, I only have one ROM right now. Finally, your plugins. If your computer can handle OpenGL, use it. If not, select 3D9 or 3D11. I'm going to go with 3D11. Then the config. Set this to 1. Move to advanced. Disable lighting and disable fog. Click close. Leave it on the first one. Move the config. Make sure it's like this. Click OK. There's your ROM. Next is the controls. I'm using my keyboard. I have a controller, but I can't bother to go for it. If you're going to be using a controller, then change the device here. Plug in your controller and change the device here. Then you start setting your keys. You set your A button, B button, X button, Y button, Z button, up, down, left and right button, your C stick, Your trigger buttons and your D-pad. Also, type in a profile name here and save so your controls are saved. Then click save. Well, we already added the ROMs, so we can skip that. Step 6. Open the game. And as it says here, I'm using Super Smash Bros. Melee because it's fun.
yeah i am using a phone to record this video so i only have one free hand so i can't really fight as well but it's not the fight that's important that's important it's the speed so let's see the speed i'm going to put the kirby theme song on pause and open the game I like having it full screen by the way. There you see it. Yeah, so it works. As you can see, my game is moving normal speed. And for those of you who play Super Smash Brothers, if you have it on melee like me and the speed isn't good enough for you, put it on lightning. It will go faster. Put it on lightning melee. And that's how you make your dolphin speedy.